feel sorry for the woman. I really, I seriously do. She's a mother, and I seen how upset she was, and I felt for her. So. So you still use Facebook? Yeah. You but won't give it up. Well, I only use it for my friends and having a laugh. So. <laughs> but after all the trouble it's got you in. I know, but it's just my friends in it. It's the way of keeping in contact with all my friends. So, yeah. I keep I come off and then go back on, come off, go back on, something like that all the time. I should really come off it after all this. <laughs> Did so. you know that you shouldn't have been in contact with her when she first made at that first, initial I, At first, I've got to admit, I didn't because I'd been acquitted. And because I was like a member of public and I wasn't under any awe. And then when I sat back and thought about it after the conversation, the first thing I did the morning after was contact the solicitor. I'm the one who brought it to the court's attention. Nobody else, it was me. And Jamie, this woman came into your life because of something that you were involved with before. Would you take the sentence for her if you could? I've already done 14 months for something I haven't done. I wouldn't go back there ever. <laughs> so. I was sitting behind you when you heard that howl of anguish yeah. from uh, Mrs. Yeah. Frail. What was your reaction at that moment? Because it was very distressing. Yeah, it was. I was shaking and I felt sick. I did feel for her. I mean, I, 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 when I was in the like, I just got dragged away. I didn't have any of this like warning. I was just dragged away for no reason.